morning from Chicago, from my bathroom. It's one of those days where I truly feel like I need about 18 cups of coffee. Just washed my hair, it was much needed, much needed. I stocked up on my Super Goop Glow Screen repurchase. I had to. It's one of those that I truly feel like I cannot live without. Very exciting, this video is sponsored by Kohl's. We're gonna get into that a little bit later, but I just wanted to let you know, friend, the glow, I missed you. I'm just gonna do some quick makeup this morning because I have Oh, just about 45 million things on my to-do list for today. <laughs> it's already my last week in Chicago, which is nuts. I feel like this has flown by. I'm not like ready to leave. I scrubbed off all my tanner and now this foundation is a little bit too dark. But because I'm heading out in a week, I'm trying to get head on videos and then do those like 5 million things before a big trip. Um, yeah, ignore the shape difference right now. Tonight, I also actually have a date if he doesn't freaking bail. <laughs> We will see. If you saw my last vlog, I talked about the Chicago dating scene here and like the level of flakiness is just pretty next level unreal. So, you know, if he doesn't flake at this point, I will be pleasantly surprised. This guy seems promising. He's been like checking in, sent over his number, all of that. So I used to get really nervous for first dates and I feel like now I really don't. It's usually like the just the initial, you know, when you're like getting out of the Uber, have to find them, are they sitting? Did you get there first? That's like the part that makes me nervous. But once we're actually there and just chilling, it's usually fine. Even if it's a bad date, like I have gone on, ooh, my date in Miami. <laughs> I never talked about that, that was bad. Even if it's bad, it's just like, whatever, it'll be an entertaining story. I'm just letting my hair like sit in here with some product in and kind of air dry a little bit because I am gonna be trying, actually I'm trying a new hair tool, which I'm excited about. The fun thing is, especially with traveling, I'm like, at least if nothing else, like it's fun to go see places, you know? Like just go to a restaurant and whatever. I cannot. <laughs> I'm literally looking at my eyeballs in like the mirror mirror, the big mirror, so I actually can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hiccups. Awesome. These are the lashes I'm going to put on. I've been getting some questions from you guys about how I've been doing them because basically I've been I've been like butchering and chopping lashes just to make them super lifted and like corner lashes, which I've found is the most flattering on my eye shape. These are the Sephora Demure Lashes, which you can now get on Kohl's along with some other stuff that I'm gonna talk about. But see how these ones are smaller right here and then more dramatic toward the end. So these are already like the cat eye shape, but just for my eye shape, I am gonna trim them even more. So I'll probably cut it like there. Lash ASMR. I always have to trim my lashes, but especially when I'm doing like this corner lash thing, I'll kind of just put it on, see where I want to trim. And sometimes I'll trim from the outside, sometimes I'll trim from the inside, but if you want the tapered in look, leave the inside because usually those are a little bit shorter and cut from actually the outside. But right now I'm gonna do a little bit of chop chop on both. We're gonna, we're gonna fix this hair situation. Isn't it crazy the difference that lashes makes? I feel like it literally changes your entire face shape. You guys, Sephora is now available on Kohl's.com and in stores Kohl's. And coming in the spring and summer, there's gonna be 400 new locations of Sephora opening inside Kohl's stores. This is so exciting because you can actually get double rewards basically because you're getting your normal Sephora Beauty Insider points when you shop, but you can also get Kohl's rewards on your in-store purchases and online. It's a little bit of a game changer, okay? They also have an in-store pickup option. That's what I did. So I just placed my order online and then in under two hours, your order is ready and you can go pick it up at Kohl's or you can do curbside pickup and you can go on Kohl's.com to find the store locations near you. And it was so easy. I got like quite a big order. I got this and some other clothes I'll show you. I got this top. The lady was so nice. I like walked straight. You just go straight in the customer service. The order was ready and a different lady who was like the shopper. She was like, oh, I had so much fun shopping for your order. You got some fun stuff. And I was like, wow, love to hear it. So I'll show you a couple of things I picked up, some repurchases that I love. And then I'm also gonna be trying this bad boy I found on there. It's, it's the Amica 2.0 blow dryer brush. I love testing tools like this. So I'm curious to see how this one compares to some others I've tried. And this one right now is actually in like a limited edition set where you can get a couple Amika hair products included. But let's try out this. I'm gonna get the hair situation under control and then I'm gonna show you a couple of the other things I picked up. But you can head to Kohl's.com or head into Kohl's stores to get double rewards on your Sephora purchases today if there's anything you've been wanting to pick up. Super cool that you can get double rewards by shopping Sephora at Kohl's. Ooh, love the matte black. She's a beauty. This one feels a little bit more lightweight, I feel like. I've tried a lot of these tools at this point. If you want to see others, I usually test them in vlogs. I gotta get some root spray going. I also picked up the Olplex number no. seven bonding oil. I've heard so many good things about this. It smells so good. So I'll put this in at the end after I dry. I already have product in my hair, my usual. 
Looks like there's a few different settings. I'm gonna go on full blast. Because my hair still is pretty damp right now, I am gonna section it off. Usually with these brushes, I'll wait till my hair is like a little bit more air dried and then I'll go in, but because my hair is still pretty damp and I have a lot of hair, I am gonna section it off right now. If it's this wet, I'll like brush down over it and just keep doing kind of brushing motions just to get the roots a little bit more dry and everything more dry overall. And then now is when I'll go in to like actually style it. By the way, I just wanna say I got to choose all the products that I'm featuring in today's video. So these are things that I've just been like interested in that have been in my Sephora cart. Okay, one layer down and so far so good. I do feel like I'm getting a decent amount of volume with this one. That's one of the things that can differ with these tools is how much volume you get. If you're gonna try this, definitely get it in the set because you get some really good Amika products and Amika hair products smell incredible and work great if you've never tried them. One of my favorite hair brands. Okay, so that took about 20 minutes. I'm gonna spray some roots for now just to cover up those grays. I'm gonna try the Olaplex oil. I don't know how oily this oil is, so I'm just gonna use a little bit to start. You know how some are more like wet hair oils and some are dry hair oils? Oh, this one feels lightweight in the hands. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's like fruity, but still musky. Let me know what you guys think. Should I chop my hair again in Chicago like before I leave? Should I cut it to here again? Or should I let it grow out? Let me know what you think down below. Okay, the oil definitely added some shine and it feels nice and lightweight. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, looking a little more put together here now. So let me show you a few other things I picked up. A couple repurchases, both of these I love, especially for the summer. Like if you need a good summer SPF that is glowy, if you want a body glow or a face glow, Super Goop Glow Screen, you know I love. Also talked about this a bunch. This is the Shiseido Synchro Shield. This for your body or whenever you want to glow. Oh wow, look at that, just pull it open. I got the baby travel size because anything that I can get in a travel size right now, I am just to keep the weight down in my suitcases and everything but this is one of my favorite body SPFs ever. It smells so good. This is the SPF that I wore in Hawaii a ton. It stays on in the water, it gives you the prettiest glow, and the scent is just like nostalgic to me now. It just smells like Hawaii. I might put a little bit of this on my chest today, but I also got this to try, the JLo Beauty, that star filter. This is like a body highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. I also love using the Super Goop Glow Screen on my body. That's what I used when we were in Savannah. So I was wearing a lot of dresses. Putting that on your chest gives a really pretty glow too. Definitely shake this one though. Oh my God, the smell, so nostalgic. Oh my God, just smells like summer. This one gives that like really healthy looking kind of glow, very natural. There's not like glitter and stuff that's gonna be reflecting. And I'm guessing this one is gonna be more of like the latter. This is like a true body highlighter. Very pretty. This one comes in a few different shades. This might be too dark on my fair skin, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Probably should have uh, put a necklace on after doing this. Ooh. We may have a winner because I personally don't like when there's like a bunch of glitter. Let's watch this one. This color on me definitely is giving like a little bit of color as you can see, but ooh, there's no glitter, which is really nice. I definitely added like a little bit of natural looking tan, which is nice because I feel like now my foundation is definitely matching my <laughs> neck a little better. Ooh, they had this like travel size Sol de Janeiro set. And I love that this comes in actual like travel case that I can use for other stuff too. This is like one of my favorite scents of all time, the Bum Bum Cream. Oh my God. The summer scents today are our next level. I've used up so many of these and it comes with the moisturizing shower gel and a hair and body fragrance mist. I actually didn't realize you could use this on your hair. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to need this everywhere. These two scents, by the way, go really well together. And then last beauty item I picked up because this had really good reviews is the Patrick Ta Major Glow Softening Lip Mask. And I love a good like light pink kind of tinted lip product. I've been into using a lip liner to get the shape, but then filling it in really naturally with just like a gloss or a product like this on most days. So let's see what this color looks like. Beautiful packaging. Mm, smells like mint. Obviously I have a gloss on right now, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep testing this one, see how the moisture is and everything. I love the minty scent right now and it does feel lightweight. Like it's not like a super tacky mask. And this is in the shade She's Juicy. And I just picked up a couple clothing items because I'm trying to find pieces for my next trip, which you'll be hearing about where that is. They're kind of more like summery and flowy dresses, that kind of thing. So this top I think is so cute. I might actually wear this tonight on the date. Just cinches going down the ties at the bottom. So this would be cute with like high-waisted light blue jeans, especially ones with rips. I picture it in like white heels. So got this beautiful like periwinkle color spaghetti strap, super long maxi dress. 
dress. The material of this is also super soft. Picture this maxi dress with like cute sun hats and sunglasses and white sandals. I see the vision. Kohl's, by the way, it's so cool that I get to work with them because that's like when I'm back in San Diego, that's one of my mom and I's like bonding activities is we go get coffee and then we go to Kohl's and we just roam around the Kohl's store together. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Exciting when like opportunities like this come up. I keep seeing pants like this come up on TikTok. They're basically like high-waisted cinch waist pants that are very flowy and wide leg at the bottom. I'm gonna have to get like uh, 5 million inches tailored off of these because I'm 4'11", so most pants I have to do like this, but they're super lightweight, so I thought it would be good for summer. I can't tell if these are like flattering on my body type though and height. With heels, I think it'd be doable. I'm always on the hunt to find like the comfiest bras ever because, you know, I'm just at the point where I just wanna be comfortable every day. So I got this cute, just ribbed white one. It's really soft and stretchy. I like wearing these kind of bras either to go on walks or to wear under like if I'm wearing just like a t-shirt kind of thing because it's more comfortable. And then this one is like cute, and comfort. It's the same like spandexy kind of material. But this one does have clasps in the back, but I like it because they're not the kind that like dig in and are uncomfortable. And the last thing I picked up on Kohl's are these Lauren Conrad high rise cuffed short. They're a six inch inseam, which sometimes I just feel like shorts are so short all the time. These ones are like a little bit longer, but they still look cute. And I feel like because they kind of flare out around my leg, it's a little bit flattering. And the buttons on the front are just really cute. I'll link everything down below, the Sephora stuff and the clothing if you want to check anything out. But love that you can now buy Sephora at Kohl's and stack those rewards. Does anyone else do this when your bagel is too fat to fit in? I am in a bagel mood lately. Just hits the spot. We'll have a little bagel mukbang, okay? So my first Chicago vlog is up. I have a second one coming. So in my time when I'm filming this, Rach came to visit this past weekend. It's Monday when I'm filming this. So I had to say bye to them last night, which was so sad because this is the first time throughout all of the traveling that I haven't had like a set date that I'm going back to Seattle or that we're seeing each other next. Like Rach came to New York, I've been back to Seattle a few times and then they just came to Chicago. So it's just been like nice to have that to kind of look forward to and know like we're gonna see each other in person. And also now with Riley, her baby, I just, you know, I wanna like see Riley before she's friggin' a year old. It's never fun or easy to say bye to your best friend if you're not living in the same place. Let me know if any of you guys have your best best friend like for life lives in a different city than you. Rachel and I met our freshman year of college. We were random roommates and we've been best friends since. So this is the first time that we've never lived in the same spot. So, you know, when you say by it is sad, but like, I know I'm going to see her every couple months. It's just like making that effort now, but also with my like upcoming schedule, it's kind of all up in the air. Basically like the fall time for me right now is very much up in the air for different reasons. So we just don't know when we're for sure going to see each other next. And we were figuring out the timing and realized that Riley might be like seven months old by the time I can see her again, which I just hope that's not the case. Riley's the chillest baby on earth, by the way, because she just sleeps like almost all the time and she just wants to be like held by someone. As long as someone is holding her or she's in like the baby carrier, she's totally, totally chill and mellow and like doesn't make a peep, which is super ideal for traveling right now, actually, because we were able to do like all the things that we wanted to do and go around and went to restaurants and went to bars. <laughs> Chicago bars are like totally chill with you having babies. You guys will be seeing a little bit of Rachel and Riley in a vlog coming up, but it's Monday, so back in it. So many videos to edit right now that it's just kind of never ending. So I just need to do like a massive chunk of editing each day this week, hopefully. I'm trying to get about three weeks pre-filmed and edited right now, basically. So let's get to it, cheers. I'm aware my nails are uh, just a little bit in need of a fill right now. I've been trying to put it off until like the last minute before I leave, just so I have them done for a while. If you wanna know what I do to my nails, like what I asked for at the salon, I don't have any tips on. These are all my real nails. It's just acrylic powder with gel on top. You start out with the tips, like if you want length, but then eventually the tips grow out. And then when you keep getting fills, it's just your natural nail under there. I just like that instead of dip. I posted about why on Instagram, so I'll pop it in here. Now I need to get real edited, a set of stories that need to be edited, and then two photos. So basically when I do this, I just camp out, usually on my bed. Usually I'll put on some kind of like background show if I'm editing not something with voice, like just photos or whatever. Clearly the afternoon took a bit of a turn. I had to lay down for a few hours, but tripped in, kicked in, and I'm trying to rally to go to this date. I feel pretty good about this guy, so I feel like I wanna go and just see. Now it's about almost six o'clock, so I'm supposed to meet there at 
7.30, so gonna redo the whole face. Get some full coverage going on this side. Just a heat rash from the hot pack if you're new here. Okay, very needed. Another cup of coffee. And I think this is the date outfit I'm gonna go with. I don't know, I just wanna be comfortable <laughs> right now. So I think I'm just gonna wear this like flowy pink top, black jeans with this leather jacket. It's like 55 out, so that should be good. And just like that, you would hopefully never know. <laughs> Pretty covered. Oh, I gotta put on my necklace, but I'm gonna put on the bum bum cream. If you layer it with like a body splash, also is great because it kind of just like locks in the fragrance. This is also very scented and stays on. I love both the blue and this one and they just came out with a pink one too, like a new scent. Because it's actually kind of chilly right now, I think I'm gonna wear these boots, which I haven't worn in like two months that I've been carrying around. Do I do a necklace or no necklace? I feel like I need a necklace. This guy's tall, so I need the couple extra inches, you know? The best lighting is right here right now, which is why I'm literally on the floor. I didn't even have to do anything to my hair. It stayed, so that's exciting. Here's the fit. Wish me luck. This lighting is a little scary, but I just walked in the door, so let's date debrief. I am always down for just a conversation and going out to a restaurant, so whenever there's a date, like this i'm not too disappointed by it because it is fun to just like get out anyways you know yeah it was fine it was a fun conversation definitely not seeing each other again but it was nice to go out it's not 9 30 but i'm gonna try to get a couple hours of editing done since i wasn't able to earlier today so i'm gonna work on that all right good morning i'm on my second cup of coffee here today i realized i haven't like talked to you guys about what i think of chicago so far and given you my Chicago overview. So we're gonna do that this morning if I would move here and also a different city that has been on my list now too. Not every city that I'm traveling to is a place that I'm considering moving, but eventually I am gonna move somewhere. Chicago is on the list of cities I would definitely consider moving to. I'm here in like prime perfect weather season. I know that it's not hot, it's not humid. It's like perfect weather, it's not freezing, it's not, you know, dead of winter in Chicago. But here's the thing, Seattle, you are pretty much inside a lot of winter as well. Obviously it's not as like brutal outside and yeah, you, there, you do get breaks where you can go on walks outside and whatever, like it's not like it's 24 seven horrible weather in the winter, but I am used to being like fairly inside in the winter. So I kind of think about it similarly with Chicago. Obviously I know like the snowstorms, wind here, everything is not even comparable to Seattle, but a lot of you who have said like you either moved here or you grew up here, it's like just get a good winter jacket and you deal with it. Like people still go out here in the winter, which is kind of cool. It's not like it like totally keeps you locked inside. The other thing is I think no matter where I move, for a few months of the year, I'm gonna like do what I'm doing now and go live somewhere else for a few months. So if that was Chicago, I'd you know, probably go for a few months in the winter. It was somewhere super hot, like Austin, I would probably leave during the summer for a few months, go snowbird or reverse snowbird. <laughs> so the weather here isn't like the main thing holding me back. Let me rewind. I have been to Chicago once or twice before, but the last trip I did was probably like seven years ago now, six, seven years ago. And it was a work trip at the time where we were like scoping out to potentially start stuff in Chicago. Me and a coworker at the time rented a car and we went around to all the neighborhoods. So I have seen all those areas, which is cool because I feel like I have like somewhat the lay of the land, especially now, you know, exploring more this time. Obviously there's so much I haven't seen, but I do feel like I'm not just, you know, stuck in like Old Town River North, like I have gone out and explored. The things I love about Chicago, it's a friendly city, good food, tons of cool restaurants, good size city, like it's not too small. The water, the water is like a big thing for me wherever I live, I, I love water. So the fact that there's like Michigan here and then the Chicago River going through the city, I just think it's, it's beautiful. The main thing I like is that I feel like it has everything, but it's pretty mellow. Just walking around on the streets, it doesn't feel like super hectic like New York. It's definitely more chill, but like there's definitely those scenes. But I like that the day-to-day -day is like pretty mellow, but you're still in a big city. The train is nice. Like I have been taking one of the trains around a lot. There's a lot of like delays with it. So it's not anything like the New York subway system, but the train does exist. I've taken around a lot. I've been on it when it's like super packed. And then most of the time it's like 
totally empty. I think the only times it's been packed is if there's like a Cubs game. The safety thing, because I know people are gonna bring up the crime rate. I've talked to people here about it. Like I ask a lot of different people. Everyone has a different opinion on it. Any big city, there's crime. Is Chicago's crime rate statistically like higher than other cities right now? Yeah, it's up there. But it, again, it's like, don't go to areas that are not great and just be aware of your surroundings, do what you can. There are differing opinions on it. Some people say like they don't feel it at all. Almost everyone just says like be smart about it. Like don't get on the train at night. Don't walk alone at night, which is like those are things I would never do by myself anyways. Real estate in Chicago is weird. So that's something interesting. Rent is higher than buying. It definitely makes sense to buy here if you're going to be here for a while. But the property isn't like a good investment. Like it doesn't appreciate here like it does in other cities. So that's kind of interesting. Basically, it only makes sense to buy if you're going to be here for a while. But like wherever I move next, I do want to really put down roots and stay for a while. Okay, are you ready for my big con with Chicago? This is truly like the thing that <laughs> I think is stopping me from moving here. And before you like get on the keyboard or roll your eyes with this one, just hear me out. The Chicago dating scene, I know I've talked about it multiple times now, but it is different than other cities that I've been in. Like everyone likes to say, my city is the worst for dating. It's like this everywhere. And it's actually not like now that I've been around to different cities, there are worse cities for dating. <laughs> and it could just be like personally what I look for as well. But that in combination with just like the next level flakiness here and non-responsive, like it just doesn't seem like anyone's in any sense of like urgency to actually meet up. It's like they're on the apps just for validation or something. A lot of you have said dating in the Chicago suburbs is better, but yeah, I, I definitely think that Chicago is one of the worst cities for dating out of the ones I've been to, it's definitely the worst. Worse than Seattle, might just take time. I'm at the point in my life where like I am prioritizing relationships and friendships, but I know, you know, what I'm looking for like in the next few years basically. And so I'm not really trying to like dilly dally around. It is like a big consideration for me. I would say that's the biggest thing holding me back from Chicago right now. And I know like you can meet people anywhere. It's a big city, it could happen, but it also just seems like much easier in other cities. So I'm like, do I wanna put myself <laughs> in a city again with like kind of a rough dating scene versus there's like a couple other options where it just wasn't that difficult and seemed like there were kind of a bigger pool of people that personally was like what I am looking for. Those are my thoughts on Chicago. Other than that, I freaking love it. I It's funny cause like obviously Chicago is a well-known city but I think it is underrated in the sense that like people don't get how cool it is and how beautiful it is and it's pretty clean for like a big city. Like it's actually very clean relative to other big cities I've been in. I think the weather keeps people away, but I also love like the spirit here where people just like always go out and do stuff. If you're walking around on like a Saturday afternoon, every single bar or brunch spot or whatever is like fully packed. It just is like very lively. I've had people tell me that, that it's a very like, you know, nine to five city in the sense that once it hits five, like people are out, they're going to dinner, going to happy hour, doing stuff. Okay, so now my other, potential city that I've added to the list to look at is Atlanta. So I have been to Atlanta again around the same time. So probably like six years ago. I don't think I got like a good sense of Atlanta at all. We definitely didn't see like some of the good areas. I also think Atlanta in the past few years I've heard has like changed quite a bit, but basically there are like some really cute kind of more, I don't know what you want to call it, like Portland-y, hipster-y kind of neighborhood. There's a bunch of different areas that you guys mentioned. And I also have a friend who moved there from Portland. And so she was kind of telling me more about the neighborhoods. They built recently like a 20 mile walking path above the city, kind of like the New York High Line. So there's a bunch of like restaurants along there and bars and stuff. Atlanta is super green, like very pretty, very green. I know the weather, humidity, I've been to Charleston in August. I know what I'm in for if I go there. I mean, I'm gonna be there in August, so I'll see. But again, that would be kind of like the reverse situation to Chicago where I would probably leave during the summer there. The number one thing when I asked on Instagram was the traffic. That was like literally almost every comment about Atlanta was just about the traffic. I think it's all relative. Seattle, I'm used to like awful, awful traffic, like sitting for 45 minutes to go literally a mile and a half. So I think if you're like coming from a city like that, it's, you're kind of used to it. And the way that my friend explained it was like, you know, live by where you think you'll wanna be, which is exactly how it is in Seattle. It's like, don't live in West Seattle if you need to go to Green Lake every day. It's like not a good choice. And especially with the flexibility to like work from home, it's like usually I can kind of time my errands and stuff around like rush hour time. So 
I know the traffic there sucks. It's not like a huge deterrent for me. Atlanta has one of the biggest airports. It might be the biggest, I don't know, but it's the main hub. Big city, good food, tons of food, diverse. It has a lot of things I look for in a city friendly. So we'll see, I'll be there for a week in August. If you guys live in Atlanta, let me know what the dating scene is like in Atlanta, I'm curious. And also let me know what your thoughts are on Atlanta, minus the traffic. We can leave out the traffic, but like just the city overall, let me know what you think. One of my good friends in Seattle, her fiance's family just moved there. So they've been going like the past year a lot and she you know knows me really well and she was like i think you'd really love it it's like a it is a cool city atlanta i think people have like not a great image in their mind so i'm curious to see when i actually go there like what i think of it it is getting more expensive it is more expensive than chicago the real estate does appreciate there versus here those are my thoughts so far i don't know what the atlanta public transportation is like but i'm guessing it's kind of like seattle atlanta i would definitely have a car Austin, I would definitely have a car. Chicago, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you agree, disagree, what your thoughts are, if you live in Atlanta or you live in Chicago. But thank you, Chicago, for having me. I will be back either way. If I move here, if I don't move here, definitely, I love this city. Like, I think if I don't move here, I think it would be really fun to come here in like maybe April, May, or May, June. So I'm gonna end off this chatty vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again to Kohl's for sponsoring this video. I'm going to have the products I talked about listed down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out. And again, you can check out Sephora now in Kohl's stores or on Kohl's.com. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.